out to the social media selfie. They got a Lake Worth man arrested on 142 felony charges. It's a story we broke a few hours ago on WPBF.com. Our Terry Parker is live outside the Palm Beach County Jail to explain why he was busted over his Instagram picture. Terry? Well, detectives here at the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office have been keeping an eye on Dupree Johnson for a while, which included looking at his social media. This week, they hit Pay Dirk, their suspect, posted incriminating evidence against himself on his Instagram feed for the whole World Wide Web to see. Dupree Johnson has lots of selfies on his Instagram feed, hamming it up for the camera. But it's this one he posted last month, smiling and holding two guns that led detectives to his door. You see, convicted felons like Johnson are not allowed to possess guns. Building. Wow. You never know. Detectives raided Johnson's Lakeworth apartment and say they found two stolen handguns in a box full of ammunition. And not only did detectives find the two stolen guns and ammo inside Johnson's apartment, they say they found other evidence. They say he's the ringleader of a residential burglary group that stole over a quarter million dollars worth of goods from senior citizens. They found jewelry and lots of it, plus cash and guns. Detectives say Johnson was the ringleader of the gang they called the Dinnertime Burglars, breaking into numerous Boynton Beach senior citizens' homes since March. Johnson has a long career as a felon. His convictions include grand theft of a motor vehicle, burglary, a felon in possession of firearms, and grand theft. So many convictions that under his occupation, he lists himself as a thief. Now, Johnson's guns are gone. He's behind bars, and his neighbors are simply stunned. Yeah, it's scary. It's very scary. <laughs> and detectives here say that Johnson and his ring are implicated in the burglaries of dozens of senior citizens' homes in Boynton Beach since March. They're still cataloging all of the jewelry they found, and they plan to have much more in this story as it develops by next week. Live in West Palm Beach, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.